Welcome to the Ryman Auditorium, formerly known as the Union Gospel Tabernacle. The tabernacle was built between 1888 and 1892 by no other than Steamboat Captain Thomas Ryman. The reason for building the tabernacle is actually quite ironic. Ryman went to hear the evangelist Reverend Sam Jones's tent revival in order to cause a riot and ended up having a change of heart, vowing to build a great tabernacle so Jones would never have to preach under a tent again. Nashville architect Hugh Thompson designed the church in the late Victorian Gothic Revival style, which was very popular at the time. The church features many concepts of Victorian Gothic style, such as pointed arches, steeply pitched roofs, and front-facing gables with delicate wooden trim, all seen on the outside of the church. The walls are dark red brick, and on the front facade, there are molded brick archivolts and blind arcades. A key feature Centered at the second story level of the main facade is a limestone panel in the decorated Gothic style, which has the inscription Union Gospel Tabernacle. Most of the windows have pointed arches decorated in the Gothic style, and also in the gable end arch on the rear facade. Gothic architecture originated in France during the 12th century. However, Gothic Revival style came to America and from England, where it began in the 18th century as a kind of Rococo rebellion against Italian classical modes. In 1897, a gallery was added around three sides to hold the Confederate Veterans Reunion, the biggest convention so far held at the Tabernacle. The veterans themselves contributed a substantial amount, and that fact is commemorated by the, in the name Confederate Gallery painted on the balcony railing. With that space, the Tabernacle could hold up to 4,000 people. The Tabernacle was not only home of Reverend Sam Jones. It also became one of the most popular places for performances, operas, and speakers, including everyone from Katherine Hepburn to President Teddy Roosevelt to Charlie Chaplin and even Helen Keller. While the architecture is incredible, the, first, the thing I find most interesting about the Union Gospel Tabernacle, later renamed the Ryman Auditorium in honor of Mr. Ryman, is that it eventually became home to the Grand Ole Opry in 1943. People fought to hear all different performers sing, including everyone from Dolly Parton to Elvis Presley and even Johnny Cash. Love is a burning thing And it makes a fiery ring Many defining moments in country music occurred on the stage of the Ryman, from the discovery of new artists to the birth of bluegrass. From all of this, the Ryman got the nickname the Mother Church of Country Music, which is quite fitting since it literally was a church and is now a performance venue. Although it looks like a church, the acoustics are incredible and I would love to see someone perform here live one day. Eventually, the Grand Ole Opry moved to its new home in Opryland, but took a piece of the Ryman with it, literally. In an effort to make to maintain continuity with the Opry's storied past, a large circle was cut from the floor of the Ryman stage and inlaid into the center of the new Opry stage. Today, the Grand Ole Opry currently returns to the Ryman Auditorium annually for a run from November through February, and the Ryman has been featured in many movies and TV shows, including Nashville. The Ryman is now considered a historical landmark and has a new facade, located seven inches from the original, but it looks almost identical to how it was originally constructed.